In Creo Parametric 8.0, the reconstruction process has been improved for studies that include the parting line manufacturing constraint. This means you'll have improved success during reconstruction if your optimization includes this type of constraint, thus reducing the need to perform manual updates to the reconstructed geometry. In this example, when you apply a parting line, you have two choices, either 2D or 3D. The 2D parting line will require that you select either a datum plane or a planar surface. During reconstruction, Creo will use that reference to create a style curve through the intersection of the optimized shape and the reference plane. The 3D parting line will be computed by the optimization solver and during reconstruction, Creo will create a freestyle curve through that parting line. Entering a draft angle, the solver will generate the optimized shape. You'll notice in this example, the preserved geometry already has a draft feature defined. To improve the reconstruction process, it is recommended to apply a draft feature to the given bodies that will be selected as the preserved geometry. The draft you apply should be the same draft angle used in the design criteria where you'll specify parting line constraint. Performing the reconstruction on the optimized shape, Creo has improved the underlying algorithm which will create the necessary curve, style or freestyle depending on if you chose a 2D or 3D parting line manufacturing constraint. Creo will also create an aligned freestyle shape above and below that curve with the draft angle used in the optimization. In this example, you can easily see the defined parting line in the geometry with all the surfaces aligned. This enhancement will help improve your reconstruction success rate for optimizations including the parting line manufacturing constraint.